Welcome to another episode of Craft is in Session. Today we're going to be making a hanging wall folder out of fabric. To make your fabric wall folder, here's what you need to use. A large self-healing cutting mat, a fabric ruler, a piece of heavyweight canvas, a piece of cotton fabric in any pattern that you like, fabric decoupage glue, a water-based polyurethane, a fabric cutter, a craft knife, a paintbrush, and a pack of large eyelids. They come in a kit when you get them at the fabric store, so just grab a kit and that's all you'll need. I'm gonna put out my fabric. I have that one piece of really pretty patterned fabric and then a piece of a kind of a heavyweight duck canvas and that's gonna give it some weight. They're both cut to about 15 inches across by 22 inches high. You have a little bit of leeway because we are gonna trim this down later. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna grab my fabric decoupage. Dump a bit of it out onto your surface. It's gloopy, so <laughs> don't worry about that because we're gonna smooth it out, all right? Then grab your paintbrush and just start smoothing it onto the canvas. Once you've covered your entire surface with that fabric decoupage, you're gonna take your fabric and place it on top. I like to roll up the fabric so that I'm only placing a little bit on at a time. Bring it over to your decoupaged surface and slowly use your hand to just kind of push it into place. You don't want any air bubbles. So take your time here. Now we're gonna add another layer of decoupage glue on top to seal those two fabrics together. Gonna let this dry I'd say give it about an hour decoupage glue tends to dry pretty quickly and then we'll move on to the next step all right I've let my decoupage glue dry now here's a quick tip that you're gonna love when your decoupage glue is dry it might have a slight like tacky kind of feel to it to fix that, we're gonna use the polyurethane. All you have to do is take the polyurethane and brush it on top in a very thin coat so that you can get rid of that tackiness and have a nice smooth finish. Once your polyurethane has dried, it's time to trim down our fabric so that it's the size of our wall folder. All right, I've got my uh, fabric ruler here and I've got a rotary cutter to cut the fabric. To figure out what size you need it to be, here's a little trick for you. I have a file folder that I actually made myself and I wanna make sure that I'm able to fit this type of folder into my wall folder because that's what I wanna use it for, okay? If you wanted to use this for magazines, you would wanna fit it to the magazine. So here's what we're gonna do. Flip it so you've got the wrong side up and you know, make it so that I want the top of my labels to be showing and then bring up the other part of the folder and I feel like that looks good right there. So I'm basically gonna trim off the excess on the sides, all right? Now that I've got it trimmed the way I want it so that a little bit of my folder sticks out of the top, I wanna trim off enough on the sides so that I can place grommets. So I'm gonna leave about one inch on the sides of my folder. got a nice rectangle done we're ready to grab our eyelet kit and apply the eyelets that will hold our folder onto the wall to do that I'm actually going to use a craft knife just to put in hold about one inch in about right here feels good and I'm just gonna make a little slit that way I'm cutting through both layers of fabric at the same time and then I can cut a slit in the opposite direction to make an X then we're gonna move over to the other side and do the same thing I'm using my mat as a guide because I know I want my, my plus sign to go here so that way they'll be the same on each side. 
Your eyelids are gonna come with two different eyelids. One that has a taller cap and then one that has the shorter end. So you're gonna take the eyelet with the taller center and push that through the top of your fabric. That's gonna be the front of your eyelet. Then on the back, you're gonna cap it off with the eyelet that has the shorter center. Now you're going to use the tools that come with the kit. Put this black piece here and put this piece, that little hammer head, right here. Then you're gonna just take a hammer and give it a nice big whack. And now you have a perfectly placed eyelet. So we're gonna do that for all four of the slits on our fabric magazine or file or whatever you wanna call it, wall folder. four eyelets on each of the four corners of my fabric wall folder and now I can use these to hang it up on hooks. I'll show you how. <music> 